Have you been trying to get him to love you? I mean, have you been trying to get your job to say how wonderful you are? I mean, have you been trying to get your girlfriend to say that she thinks that you're amazing? I mean, have you been trying to get someone outside of yourself to simply say, I love you? I mean, what if today the thing you're actually being asked to do is to love yourself? My name is Rodney McKenzie and you're watching More Life Video Blog and today I'm talking to you about that exact same thing about choosing to love yourself. You know, sometimes in our lives we believe that we need someone else to love us. I mean, sometimes in our lives we believe that we need someone to validate our being, to validate our existence. You know, we spend so much of our time trying to get boo-boo in them, you know, trying to get everybody else to say how amazing, how wonderful, how, how in love they are with us. But what if today the thing that we're actually being asked to do in our lives is not to get other people to love us, but for us to love ourselves? I mean, what would happen right now today if you felt the love? I mean, this intense love for you. You know, Lazarus says that if you could love yourself, I mean, if you could feel all the love that is within you, I mean, if you were willing to love all of you, your life would change. What would happen right now in this moment if we stopped, we stood still just for a second, and we chose, well, to love us? I mean, to love you. I mean, to love who, who and what you are. I mean, I think that sometimes in our lives we believe that we're chasing other people to love us when actually the only person that we're chasing is ourselves. Today, choose to be bold. Choose to fall madly in love with yourself and watch your world change. I choose to love myself. I can look in my eyes right here and right now and know that I'm loved. Can you join me in loving yourself? And so it is, all right? Peace.